<clears throat> yeah morning all right so before i start can anyone please confirm whether my voice is clear right yes hello yes, you are audible in the last session just i was briefing you about this right why python who can learn python how it was built real-time applications what kind of applications we can develop python usage python features python compassion with other programming reasons why python is suddenly super popular python scope and job market right yes so it's a general purpose programming any kind of application we can develop using python and it's multi-programming features general purpose programming any kind of application we can develop using python it's not for purpose based like python is not purpose based it is not for a specific purpose python is not for a specific purpose or particular purpose right any kind of applications we can develop using python right multi programming features we see right multi what all the features we see different other programmings all those features we see in python right yes Okay, high level language. Python is what? High level language, right? <clears throat> high level means, yes, high level means easily understandable, easily understandable and portable and machine independent. Can run on all the hardware, can run on all the operating systems, right? interpreted language python is an interpreted language line by line execution we are going to see in python which makes debugging easy and python is a cross platform language which can run on any platform like windows linux mac os right yes okay user friendly programming or programmer friendly programming language which provides simple syntaxes which looks like normal English statements, right? Now see this, there are two types of languages, right? Yes, low level languages, high level languages, low level languages, they are not human understandable. They are not portable, they are machine they are machine dependent but high level languages human understandable they are portable and machine independent they are machine independent they can run on all the hardware and all the operating systems python is python has got what features procedural oriented programming features object oriented programming features scripting right it has got scripting and modular programming features okay it has got python we call it like hybrid language why hybrid language because of this multi-programming what all the features we see in different other programmings all those features we see in python like c c plus plus java right modular programming we can we can just develop different types of applications so i said in 2010 java was mostly used with 43 percent usage in the industry 2010 python just three percent used but in 2020 like java usage decreased to 19 python usage increased to 31 percent so the python has got a great boom today it's the number one ranked programming language Yes, you can check in Google, right? Number most popular coding language, right? You can see from last two, three years, Python stands first as the number one ranked programming with many applications creations. Yes, and Python has got, we can write many automation scripts using Python and modular programming modules. We have got the concept of modules, 89,300 inbuilt 
modules for each and every domain. <clears throat> modules for every each and every environment for data science, for big data, for testing, for networking, for OS activities, for each and every database, there are separate modules Python is providing. For each and every file format, there is a module, right? Excel, CSV, XML, PDF, JSON. For each and every file format, there is a module. And even for mathematical operations, for mathematical operations, for statistics, for graphs, for all this. In this way, not only this, thousands of modules, thousands of modules Python has got for different environments. You may ask, what is the advantage? What is the advantage of using these modules? Modules consist of built-in functions. Models consist of built-in functions. For example, observe this. A, mo a module. Importance of module. Because of this modular programming only, I was saying, right, Python has got very high boom. There is a model called math. Within the math model, there is a square root functionality. So I want a square root of 16. I want to find. That's it. One line. Oh, sorry, import math we need to say. So whenever you need to use any module, and any time whenever you want to use module, first import that. Uh, import math you need to say. First import that. Next use it. Math dot S Q R T of 16. What is it? 4. Yes. <clears throat> So in this way, models have got inbuilt functions. Using that, we can perform different types of operations. <clears throat> 89,300 inbuilt modules Python providing for different environment. Yes. Python real-time applications. What kind of applications we can develop today by using Python? Python mostly used for creation of web applications. Mostly used in at a rapid speed, you can develop web application today by using Python. That's got framework like Django. That's got framework like Django framework. <clears throat> Automation applications we can develop today using Python, using technologies like data science, IoT, DevOps, right? <clears throat> Where in all this uh, implementation going in Python. <clears throat> Data science, right? With Python, IoT, right? 90% of the coding in Python. Big data. Even in IoT also, in big data also, right? Today we have got like Spark, Hadoop and Spark, right? Implemented with Python, PySpark, we say, right? For scientific applications, CP. For numerical analysis, NumPy, numerical, Python. <clears throat> Jewer animations. We have what model, right? TK Inter and PyQt models. Game development like PyGame, PyCora, PySci, all these models used for developing games. A lot of games we are developing today using Python for scheduling tasks. For testing or for test cases, right? For testing or for test cases. And software development, for software development. Software developers make use of Python as a support language for business application, for, e for developing e-commerce websites, right? Python is one of the best choice. Database, Python can connect with any database, right? And database application, without database, there is no web application. For networking applications, separately Python providing twisted Python. 
and for web scrapping, scrapping data from different websites like Amazon, Flipkart, right? Audio and video applications. We have got like Team Player, C Play. Team Player and C Play are some of these embedded applications, Raspberry Pi. See, for embedded applications, Raspberry Pi, right? It's one of the embedded application, most embedded application which uses Python script. CAD application or 3D CAD applications, right? Yes. We use Python. Computer vision for face detection, collection, color detection, and for object detection, right? We prefer Python. Robotics, right? With Python. And desktop applications, creations, right? With Python. So single user console applications, right? Yes. Who are using Python today? Topmost applications built using Python. Topmost applications built using Python. So Google using Python for its web search system. YouTube using Python for its video sharing service. Right. Yahoo using Python. Uber, Uber pricing algorithm implemented using Python. Instagram built using Python. Right by the reason right like python because of its python uh multi-programming features hybrid features we can use python accordingly right <clears throat> okay in nasa using python because of python hybrid features we can use Python accordingly, like using crystal oriented, object oriented, Quora, Reddit, Pinterest. Quora, Reddit, and Pinterest, right? They are using Python. Netflix, MMOG, Maya. See Netflix, right? Netflix, the topmost OTT, which uses Python for security, automation, subscription related things. MMOG massively multiplayer online games. Maya, a powerful 3D animation which uses Python script. BitTorrent using Python for its file sharing service. iRobot for military and commercial applications. Right? Hardware testing. Companies like IBM, Seagate, Qualcomm, all these they use Python for hardware testing purpose. Right? So reasons which makes Python suddenly super popular. Very less coding we see in Python, not even one fourth coding as compared with other programming. So people with non-programming or zero programming, right? Today you can understand how simple the Python statements will be, right? I'll just show you Python code as compared with other programming. So you can just observe. Simple syntax is given by Python. Multi-programming features, multi-programming features. What are the features we see in different other programmings we see in Python? Interactive mode. Interactive mode, right? Yes. Wide varieties of applications we can create. Just now I was discussing of many built-in libraries, thousands of modules we have got, right? And now I'll just compare Python code with other language code, right? And Python comparison with other programming, right? Python comparison with other programming. Python comparison with other programming, right? Yes. I'll take a task. 
and I'll try to implement the task in different programming languages. Just compare this, right? Coding wise, how these Python statements look. Accepting two values, accepting two values from the user keyboard. Two values from the user keyboard, right? And performing addition. So this task, right? Just take two values and perform addition. A simple operation, right? Let, let us see how to write this using multiple programming. So Python and Java are the two major programming languages, right? Yes. So first to say using Java first. Later I'll come back to Python. Compare the code, right? Java code and Python code. Yes. If you got knowledge on Java, just go to the following code class sample mm. public stack okay first we need to say import java.io.star import java.io.star right everything ends with semicolon right public static wide main right public static wide main right string ox throws IO exception, right. Input stream reader, right, input stream reader. No input stream reader, right. Input stream reader, of system dot in right buffer reader br equal to new buffer reader input stream reader buffer reader new buffer reader of isr right s System dot how to dot print ln enter the first number enter the first number whatever number you are entering right by default taken as so system dot how dot print ln enter the first number okay whatever number you are entering will be taken as string string s one right br dot read line br dot read line <clears throat> okay so later i need to convert this string to integer to perform addition right into using a method integer dot parsint using integer dot parsint <clears throat> integer dot parsint of s1 right i'll copy these three lines for the second number right I'll copy this three for the second number. Control C. Yes. Enter the second number. Enter the second number. S2 BR dot read line. String S2 BR dot read line. Integer equal to integer dot parsing of S2. Finally, say system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln saying i plus j So I'll copy this to a separate file, right? Just I'll show you the execution in both Java and Python. Just compare this coding, right? Yes. <clears throat> so first, save it. I'll create.
create a new folder python 7 am right i'm creating python 7 am right what is it right sample dot sample dot java just i'm saving it so okay later i'll show you the same code for python right so how simple this python statements as compared with this so yes i'll go to this command prompt cmd yes cd slash come out of this path cd python 7 am right uh, say java c java c like file name dot java sample dot java right yes enter if there are any errors it will display the errors here one error right buffered reader there is a typo reader there is a typo in reader right r e a d e r right compare it if if there are no errors right if there are no errors no java sample right yes enter the first number 10 enter the second number 20 sum is 30 right very simple code okay 10 to 20 is yes, 30 you got right so just observe this java coding i don't know like how many of you understood this code means you need to have some knowledge on this to understand right what is class what is public static white main what is iowa exception what is input stream reader what is buffered reader what is this read line integer dot parse in right even we can use scanner class to write this program code so the statements looks little complex right to understand like input stream reader buffered reader in public static white main iowa exception right so the same task i'll try to implement in python right so you got 10, 10 to 12 lines of code the same code i'll write in python not more than three lines okay so i'll open this python shell this is the python shell right yes directly i'll write this code here file new file say x is 10 x equal to directly say input int of input enter value of x enter value of x that's it y equal to int of input enter value of y enter value of x enter value of y print x plus y that's it this is what the coding right using python the same for the same task what we have seen in java right this one this is the java code to add to accept the two values and to perform addition right for the same thing Python 7 a.m. You can just any name dot py test dot py right. So just now execute it, run run module. Enter value of x10, enter value of y20, come is 30, right? Very simple coding, right? Yes. is what to accept two values from the keyboard and performing addition using do you see any complex word here they look like normal english statement inputting the value for x in the first line inputting the value of y in the second line print x plus y right yes just i'll show you one more example right how this python statement hmm. 
if i got some list of values observe how simple this statements 20 10 40 30 50 right yes <clears throat> print the expense prints the entire list as it is print ln no fix Len of x means number of characters, number of elements, right? So what is the length? 5. If I want to find the sum of 20 plus 10 plus 40 plus 30 plus 50, in other programming languages, we need to apply loops. Initial value sum is 0, iterate it and add one by one value, finally returns the sum. Here in Python, directly say you want a sum of which list? Sum of x list, yes use the sum of this all the elements if you got five elements or 500 elements right it use the sum of it print max of x max element is what 50 print min of x print max of x is 50 min of x is 10 sorted of x arranging all the elements in particular order len of x is 5 sum of x is or sum of all this max of x is 50 min of x is 10 sorted of x means arranging all those in a particular order Yes, to two dot py right yes sum sum is 150 sum of all these elements max of x is 50 min of x is 10 sorted of x means arranging all the elements in a particular order in ascending order right so we need to write huge codings in python we have got many different functions methods modules so if you want in descending order if you want it descending or we doesn't have any separate function for it we're in the same sorted of x sorted of x comma reverse equal to reverse equal to true we need to say right yes reverse equal to true run run module right reverse means 50 40 30 20 10 right simple syntax is given by python file new file right yes yes now <clears throat> for example um, if i want to add a new element to this 60 i want to add very simple to the x list append 60 that's it x is the list to that append 60 we have got inbuilt methods like this if you want to remove an element x dot remove which element do you want to remove which element 40 i want to remove yes removes 40 directly print x run run module right so here appending 60 yes remove 40 40 gets removed yes and if you talk like python has got thousands of modules 89300 inbuilt modules python has got right now I want one example on this modules how simple that modules and how to use the properties of a module right yes. I'll take one example and show you without any knowledge on python you can understand because python statements look like normal english statements import math model I'm saying
import math module. If you want to see what is present within the math module, say DIR of math, print DIR of math module, right? Yes. Mm. Check it, what is present? Run, run module. This was the directory of math module. Pi is there, power is there, product, radiance, reminder, sine, sine h, square root, tan, tan h, all this. You have got some variable like uh, this is variable like pi you have got, variable like e you have got. You want to print this values, right? Yes. Print. Print. Within the math module, I want to print the value pi. Within the math module, I want to print that math dot e. Yes. So here, if you just every time module name dot that value. So this 3.14 is the pi value. E value is 2.71. For example, you don't know how to use a particular functionality like square root. How to work with it, how to use it. Just say help. In Python, just like print function, we have got help function. Help on what? Math.sqrt. It will help you with the syntax square root. Right? Run, run module. Built in function square root in module math. Square root expecting one value x, it and the square root of x. We need to provide one value x, it has the square root of that. Just provide one value x now. Print within the math module sqrt of one value you provide 16. It's giving what? Four it gives. Run it. So yes. The same way, for example, if it doesn't have all any other function, you take like a POW power function. So just say help how to work with the power, right? Help on math dot POW. POW, right? Yes. Yes, try to check. Run run module. Help on built-in function power in module man. Help on built-in function power in the module man. Power function taking two values, x comma y. It is returning x to the power of y. x to the power of y. <clears throat> x to the power of y. So we need to give two values. That's x to the power of y, x to the power of y. Yes. We need to provide two things, right? Print math dot pow right we need to provide two things 10 comma 3 10 to the power of 3 run run module so we got the help on built-in function power right we are supposed to provide two values we provide two values 10 comma 10 and 3 it turns 10 to the power of 3 that is x to the power of y thousand right x right in this way you can just any any module any domain specific modules you can take help from any module and you can just work on that module yes i'll say like how simple generating graphs in python i'll just give you some two examples right one or two examples on that how simple generating graphs in Python. 
just observe import import matplotlib module for this plotting right within that we have what a built-in property pi plot just like how you have imported math we need to import this matplotlib instead of using this very big name always like here we have used math 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 right here we use you can go with alias name or shortcut name as p or plt plt dot plot for plotting a graph we require x coordinates and y coordinates y coordinates at right? five seven four list of x coordinates list of y coordinates right plt dot show plt dot plot plt dot show that's it for generating a graph import the module plot and give the x and y coordinates plt dot show save it graph is generated just with two three lines See how simple generating graph, right? Just two, three lines of code. One, five, two, seven, three, four. I didn't discuss anything, any basics of it. Python or this generating graphs or matplotlib basics, anything I didn't discuss. Are you able to understand these statements or not? Very simple statements. Yes. For example, if you want to perform a task, age and income, age values are 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years. The incomes or salaries are like this. For 30, 30,000. For 40, it is 40,000, right? For 50, it is 35,000. And for 60, it is 50,000. Okay, fine. So now here, you can check this output run run module check this graph right yes hmm. 30 30000 40 40000 50 35000 60 50000 you are seeing a solid graph in blue color right i want i doesn't want a solid graph I don't want in different color. So on that two, what is this 30, 35, right? X axis label I want, Y axis label I want, some title for the graph I want. So just to give comma here, hyphen hyphen for dotted line format. See that color equal to, I want some different color like orange, orange color, right? And, uh, plt dot x axis label x axis label i want like i'll take it as age y axis label right plt dot y label y axis label right label x axis label h y axis label income and the uh, title plt dot title so this look like normal english statements sample graph sample graph right yes check it run run module 
PLT, it is not PT. Yes, PLT here. You can check it. You will get in dotted line format. You will get that graph in that is orange color. And this is labels you get for each x axis, y axis, and the title for it. Yes. Can you check here? In orange color, you got the two in dotted line format, you got. Okay. Can you see here age, age, right? X axis label is age, Y axis label is income. The title is sample graph, orange color, right? Yes, very simple generating graph. <clears throat> so instead of plot, if I give BAR, bar graph will be generated. If I give HIST, histogram will be generated. If I say scatter, scatter plot. If I say stat plot, stat plot gets created, right? If I say PIE, pie graph will be generated, right? In this way, different types of graphs you can generate. So one, one last example I give on this, right? Python statements. Check that, that how the importance of modules and this, how this coding of Python looks like. Yes. For example, same, I'll take import matplotlib. Import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt, right? Yes, plt, right? I want to see the mobile sales. See that mobiles are like this. I want to generate a pie graph. See how simple generating pie graph, like Samsung or some phones like Oppo, Vivo. One bless. See that, uh, for example, July sales are June sales are like this. June sales, Samsung forty five sales, Oppo ten sales, Vivo fifteen sales, One Plus twenty five sales. Okay, June. <laughs> now I want plt dot pi. Plt dot pi. Yes. What do you want? Based on June sales. Based on June sales, I want a pi graph to be generated and labels. Labels nothing but whatever mobiles. Just simple, right? I've given the mobile names, the sales, and I want to generate a pie graph based on this June sales and based on this mobiles. PLT dot show, right? So let's write. Run, run modules. A pie graph will be generated with whatever color I want, like blue color for Samsung, red color for OnePlus, green color for this, and red. this is for Vivo. So in this way, we can simply generate graphs using Python. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll just take 10 minutes more, right? So before I go with showing the installations, right? Yes, you need to know something about the Python Software Foundation, right? Yes. Python Software Foundation, PSF, PSF, right? Python Software Foundation. So it is a non-profit organization. It is a non-profit organization devoted towards Python community.
non-profit organization devoted towards Python community. This PSF, it was launched in the year, it was launched <clears throat> in the year 2001. In the year 2001, right? The main objective of this PSF, right? The main objective to foster the development, right? To foster the development of Python from statement to statement. <clears throat> so, okay. To foster the development of Python, sorry, from version to version, right? So it was launched in the year 2001 and to foster the development of Python from version to version. In the year 2005, PSF, Python Software Foundation, received Computer World Horizon Award. For the cutting edge technology, right? The president for this, the president for this is nothing but the same personality who introduced Python, Gudo Van, Gudo Van Rosam. He is the same personality who introduced Python and is the president for this Python Software Foundation. Where are the headquarters, right? Headquarters at Delaware, US. Official website for Python, right? Official website. Python.org is the official website of Python from where we are going to download Python, from where we will be installing Python, right? Yes. So non-profit organization, it was launched in the year 2001 to foster the development of Python. This would Computer World Horizon Award, right? Guru Van Rausum is the personality who introduced it. Headquarters Delaware US Python.org. Right. You see that Python versions. Python versions, right? Yes. Tomorrow also you have got a session, right? Everyone you can attend the session tomorrow also, same time at seven o'clock to see more on this Python. So just I'll take five, ten minutes more here. Python version, Python 1.x version, it was released in the year 1989. Python 2.x version, right? Released in the year 2000, right? One version in the year 1989, two version in the year 2000. Python 3 version, the version what we are using currently, 3 version, right? 3.x released in the year 2008. Latest version of Python. Latest version of Python, right? Yes. Python 3.11 is the latest version. Stable version of Python. Stable version of Python, right? Python. Three point nine is the stable version, mostly used version. Stable version, right? Okay. Yes. Just I'll show you like a Python installation, right? All it takes two to five minutes to install Python. So before I install, right, I'll just uninstall from this system. And I'll show you from the scratch ground level to the advanced level. So here, not only this, will I'll show you later how to download IDs 
in real time use ids right how to work with ids in python <clears throat> So Python provides different softwares for different environments, for Windows, for Linux, for Mac OS. For Linux, no need of any separate installation. By default, every Linux flavor, whatever Linux flavor you are using, right? Red Hat Linux, CentOS, or Ubuntu OS, right? By default, you see Python as inbuilt within that Linux OS. Right. An installation in progress, right? So Windows, for Windows, Python provides two softwares for Windows 32-bit, for Windows 64-bit. How will you check whether your Windows is 32 or 64? So let this uninstallation go, right. Right click on your PC. On this PC, you can click right and say properties. Can you see this 64-bit operating system? 64 bit operating system so if it is 64 bit you need sub you need to download 64 bit python software if it is 32 bit we are supposed to download 32 bit python software two softwares provided right yes now go to this python.org now right which is the official website for python python.org python.org this is the official website of python from where we can download and install python right go to downloads all releases yes after that you can scroll down to this active python releases don't go for it looking for a specific release go for this 3.11.4 right almost like two months ago a version was released 3.11.4 yes 3.11 scroll down to the bottom right windows installer 32 bit windows installer 64 bit if your windows is 32 select it if windows is 64 select it if you got Mac OS, select this, right? Mac OS 64 bit universal installer, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Windows installer 64 bit, you can click it, right? Whenever you click this Windows installer 64 bit, yes. Your download starts. Okay, in the downloads folder, you can see that, right? Downloaded file, one second.
Yes. So in this, see the just I'm calling seven a.m. I'm pasting this whatever downloaded right. Yes. So this is what the downloaded file. Okay. If we double click it, if we double click it right, yes. You will get this window, right? Whatever the file which was downloaded, right? You can click that. You will get this window. Select this, right? Add Python to path. Don't forget this, right? Add Python to path. Go for customize installation and just go for customize installation. Everything is selected. Nothing to select in this. So next, see that location where it is getting installed in C users, Dell, App Data, Local, Programs, Python, Python 3.11, right? Yes. So tomorrow, if you want to see where your Python is installed, you need to enter into all these subdirectories, right? So instead of that, keep this mouse here, remove all this, just install Python in C drive. 3.11, Python 3.11 means 3.11. A folder gets created with this name. And in within this Python 3.11, yes. Then this Python 3.11, right? You can install Python. Say install here, say install, right? Yes. So hardly it takes one minute to install Python, right? Yes. Once it is installed, let us check whether it is properly installed or not, right? So Python provides interactive mode where we can easily interact with Python statement by statement. Every statement it gives response. If anyone have not attended yesterday session, you can see in the chart panel, right? We have forwarded the demo video of yesterday's. You can see the course content in the chart panel. We have forwarded that course content. You can copy those links for course content, Python, full stack, and this demo video, right? Yes. And their contact details and their payment details, everything is posted in the chart. So setup was successful. Close it. Type, okay, CMD here. Type CMD. Go to command prompt and type Python. If this should display the Python version and the Python interpreter should get opened. So you can just check whether it is working or not. 3 plus 2, x is 10, y is 4, x value, y value, x plus 5. In this way, we can work, right? Any valid statements you can type. So Python is working. So it is installed properly, right? Yes. So Tomorrow I'll just discuss with this Python fundamentals. So yes, tomorrow also with the session, right? Python session, right? I'll just show you this Python execution modes, developing the applications in Python, first a Python application, right? Yes. So try to attend the session tomorrow, right? Same time at seven o'clock using the same link. So before that, see the course content once again, right? Yes. What is Python, why Python, history, features, advantages, versions, Python operations, modes, executions, editors, data types, constants, variables, comments, escape sequences, okay, operators in Python, arithmetic comparison, logical, yes, Python IDs, different types of IDs, right? And uh, Python basic, right? Flow control statements, looping statements, 
and collections list tuples sets dictionaries functions in python modules packages errors and exceptions file handling orbit wanted programming irregular expressions database connectivity like python daytime module operating system model advanced concepts iterator generator closures decorators excel working with excel data analytics introduction to data science Pandas model, NumPy model, Matplotlib model. In brief, in depth, we'll be discussing these things. And people who go for full stack, Django framework, right? Django web framework installations, views, templates, admin, the Django admin, right? And UI technologies also will be provided. This JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. So for Java, for Python, it's only it's 5,000 is the fee structure. It's an offer batch. And for full stack, right, where Python, Django, right, UA technologies, web developments, three things will be covered, right? So 10,000 for full stack. Okay. Any queries from your side, anywhere, right? Okay. So I'll stop for now. Okay, we'll continue tomorrow, right? Everyone you can join the session tomorrow, same time at seven o'clock. Where can we find SJS video, right? Three party. You can see in the chart message, right? A message given by the online team. A big message is given by the online team, right? You can see there, right? Within the chart panel itself, right? And copy that video link. You can copy that course content links, right? Yes. Okay, I said you will be getting the recorded videos every day. Every day you will be getting the recorded video. You will be getting this uh, soft copy of the notes to your mail IDs. The WhatsApp group will be created for technical discussions and assignment task I'll be providing. Right? Yes. Fine. So if I'm done with your queries, right? If there is no query, then I will sign off for now. Meet you tomorrow, same time at seven o'clock. Okay, thank you all for your time. Thank you, meet you tomorrow.